He said, now, as like begets like, the true church will always be the one that tries to follow in the steps of her founders at Pentecost. And her messengers will all will follow the Apostle Paul, the first messenger to the first church age. It is that simple and that wonderful. Wow. It's that simple. So notice, in the beginning, when God sowed his seed upon the earth, he gave it in the hearts of his children, his family, to keep that word. That was their daily defense. Keep the word. And here comes the enemy in. And he broke their barriers by sowing seeds of discrepancy contrary to the word of God. If that was discrepancy in the beginning, it still is today. Anything that I add, anything to the word of God is still a seed of the scripture. See, I don't care where it come from. If it's from an organization, if it's from a military source, if it's from political powers, anything that's contrary to the word of God is a seed of discrepancy. And Brother Bam says, when man stands and says he's the gospel preacher and says that the days of miracles is past, that's a seed of discrepancy. When he says the miracles and the apostolic age is past, he said that's a seed of discrepancy. When he says there's no such thing as divine healing, that's a seed of discrepancy. When he says, well, you can be baptized in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost, that's a seed of discrepancy. It wasn't so from the beginning. He says it's okay for you women to put on pants. That's a seed of discrepancy. It wasn't so from the beginning because it says that women shall not wear clothes pertaining to a man. And let me say this. It ain't right for you men to go around wearing shorts either because it wasn't so from the beginning. It's a seed of discrepancy. It shows you've not received the seed of Christ. Word, God sent us a vindicated message. Line up to it. I'm going to tell you, I don't think they had white shirts back in that day. And let me tell you, not all of them listen to uh, Southern gospel music, just for some of y'all music fanatics out there to think we can't listen to anything else but Southern gospel. Shame on you. I just came from an island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. They didn't play Southern gospel. You mentioned Southern gospel. Like, what are you talking about? They had their own style of worship, their own style of music. But I can tell you one thing. It brought down the power of the Holy Ghost every service. So it ain't based on your man-made idea, what you think the service should be, how it should go. It's based on what God has ordained, and he's ordained the Holy Ghost in the power of his spirit to come and move on the ministry, to move into the church, to ordain the church, to flow with the winds of Pentecost. And he's the same today as he ever was. He don't need you to stop him and, and start trying to be God and identify what is right and what is wrong. God does that. He knows how to run his church. 